Hey guys, this is Tom at VSC. I want to show you something cool that we've been working on uh, the last couple months with bi-directional controls um, on the 2020 plus GML5P platform. So if you notice, after we put a tuned ECM in, you will get a check air filter system light on the dash. It doesn't matter if it's a truck like this, which is a down level cluster truck, or if it's an up level cluster truck, you're going to get this message. Um, the only way traditionally, predominantly the only way, was to clear this with the GM MDI tool or a mongoose cable, uh, which takes a second. We do it all the time when we do the immobilizer programming um, with the GM GDS tool. Um, but it's a little easier now with some software in HP tuners. So we worked with them on this. We think this is pretty cool. So push and hold the start push button for greater than eight seconds until the dash lights up. This is an up level dash. This is an AT4. Um, and I'm gonna show you on our race truck over there what a down level dash looks like. So you cannot clear this on the dash. There's no reset button. You can hit dismiss, turn the key back on, and this is gonna come back up. So you come over here, connect to the truck. So we are connected. Um, go to the vehicle controls and special functions. Go to the air filter reset and hit this button. And it's gonna say that the air filter has been reset, but watch on the dash when I click it. When I click this, it says it's reset. The dash message is now gone. That is the way the up level dashes work. And the up level dashes work a little bit different than the down level dashes, which I will show you on a race truck. This guy is different. So when we, now we've had this tune for quite a while. So on these trucks, the down level dashes, meaning it's just the truck's not quite as loaded. You can literally toggle over. So you hit the steering wheel button and you can reset the dash message if it were to pop up after ECM replacement. So you just hit reset and it would clear the message all the way. In this case, the message isn't present because like I said, this truck's been tuned for since about 30 miles and there's almost 2000 on it right now. So it's been reset right after we replaced the ECM, but if we hadn't reset it, we could have just cleared this right on the dash. You can also disable the air filter life monitor altogether. We get a lot of questions about why in the heck do we have to do this after you do an ECM replacement? When you put a programmed ECM in, uh, this air filter minder, the memory contents are stored in the factory ECM, which sits down here. And what happens is the memory of the, e the new ECM that we're gonna put in the truck doesn't have that data populated. So when you stick a new ECM into the truck, that ECM memory contents, it's not populated any longer. So the, the body control module is confused at when the last time it was reset, which is why we have to go in here and reset them. The previous model year trucks, the 2017 to 2019 trucks did not have that in them. So that's why you didn't have to clear those messages or mess with it. But anyways, I hope this helps. That is right in the HP Tuner software now. If you just want to get the annoying message off your dash after ECM replacement, hit that button, take, takes care of it. If you guys are doing the immobilizer relearn via the GM MDI tool or a mongoose tool, you're already going to be in there with the GDS software. We would just recommend do the immobilizer relearn and then do the air filter reset um, at that time. And we hope this helps. Again, this is a lot of work and um, we'll continue to try to help and get more cool tools in there to alleviate uh, some of the pain in the ass things about swapping ECMs in these trucks and getting them on the road like they should be. Thanks.